Hello friends, this video on control and coordination part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us now talk about the reproductive organs of the body, that is the ovaries, which are the female reproductive organs. So where are these ovaries located? They are present in the pelvic cavity of abdomen in females. So where is this pelvic cavity? So here if you look at the structure of a female, you can see at the back side you have the spinal cavity. This is the spinal cord and that is why this cavity is called spinal cavity. And the below portion, this portion is the pelvic cavity. From the front side, the cavity related to the brain, that is the cranial cavity. The next one is the thoracic cavity, which is bounded by the thorax. Next is abdominal cavity, where you have stomach, intestine. And the lower part is the pelvic cavity. Now, sometimes the front part, abdominal cavity plus pelvic cavity is together known as abdominopelvic cavity. So, these ovaries are located in the pelvic cavity, that is the lowermost part of the abdomen. So here you can see their exact structure. This is how they look like these orange colored structures. They are the ovaries. So even these occur in pairs. So what is the hormone secreted by ovaries? They secrete estrogen and progesterone. So these are the two hormones which are secreted by the ovaries. What do they do? They help in development of female genital organs. When I say female genital organs, I am actually talking about the female reproductive organs. Right? There are so many organs which are involved in the reproductive system of females. For example, we have these ovaries. So here we have the ovaries, the tube-like structure which connects these ovaries are the fallopian tubes. Then here we have the uterus and then again this, then we have cervix and here this opening vagina. So this all together form the reproductive system in female. So these hormones actually help in the development of female genital organs. It also helps in development of secondary sexual characters in women. What do we mean by secondary sexual characters? When we say primary sexual characters, we are actually talking about the reproductive organs. When we say secondary sexual characters, we are talking about some other characters. For example, breast enlargement. You would have seen that in a female who is a child, a small child, a girl child, will not have developed breasts, right? But as she grows, at a certain age, her breasts will start developing. So these are the hormones which actually decide the right time for development and enlargement of breasts. Development of pubic hairs, development of hairs in the underarms, and also the start of the menstrual cycle. The entire process of menstruation is also handled by these hormones, estrogen and progesterone. So basically these hormones generated by the ovaries will actually control or handle the development of primary and secondary sexual characters in females. Now similarly, we will have these kind of hormones in males as well. So let us talk about testes. So testes are the organs which are present in the scrotum in males. So what is the hormone which they secrete? They secrete testosterone. Testis, a very similar name, testosterone. Their function again is very similar to the female uh, counterpart. They help in development of male genital organs, that is the male reproductive organs, and also help in development of secondary sexual characters in men. So what would be the secondary sexual characters in men? Development of beard, moustache, chest hair, pubic hair, enlargement of the penis and also secretion at puberty. You would see that when guys reach a certain age, the secretion starts. So that, that age is defined as puberty when all these symptoms, all these secondary sexual characters starts appearing in a guy. So we say that that guy is entering into puberty. So all these things are controlled by testosterone. Now here you see this testosterone or estrogen and progesterone, they all work in coordination with the pituitary gland and that is why pituitary gland is known as the master gland. So basically pituitary gland tells testosterone along with the testosterone, it tells the body when to produce sperms and sperms are something which are needed for reproduction. So that means 
even the production of the sex hormones is also controlled by the pituitary gland. So there are so many things which the pituitary gland actually controls. Even though the gland is located in the brain, but it controls the reproductive organs like the development, the production of the sex hormones. It also controls the adrenal glands secretion, which actually helps in handling the emergency situations. It also controls the thyroid gland secretion which secretes thyroxine, which helps in the overall development of the body. So that these are the reasons why the pituitary gland is known as the master gland. So let us quickly have a location at, look at the location of the testis. So it is located in the scrotum in males. So here, if you see, this is the scrotum, two little bulgy bulb like structures. Inside that you have the testis. So with this, I think I have discussed all the endocrine glands which are present in the human body, which are the hormones which they secrete and what functions do they perform. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.